hey, I wanted to send a message to all the families out there because um, we were originally supposed to return to school face to face in October. It's September 29th. And I know some of you who have older kids in school have heard that the date has now been set for January 4th. Um, I wish this wasn't the case, but instead of sending a letter out or an announcement on Remind, which only limits me to so many words, I figured I'd just make this video to get in touch with you guys. So obviously we're not returning um, in October and the date has been set for January 4th for a return. However, we did send out that survey to parents asking you when you would feel comfortable having your children come back to school. Overwhelmingly, about 85% of the preschool uh, families would like their children to come back sooner. So I know that uh, Global Heights, the elementary portion, is going to start phasing in uh, small groups of kids. Preschool is probably about second on that list to phase in. So there is a slight chance that we could be returning in November. It's a very fluid situation. It will depend on what happens with the group who comes in before us. Um, and you know, we want to keep, we want to keep our kids safe and we want to keep our teachers and our staff safe too. We don't want anybody taking pan, you know, the pandemic home, nobody getting COVID-19, um, to their families. So, uh, the plan is to possibly phase us in a little sooner, but that's not written in stone. Um, I'm hoping, so keep your fingers crossed for November. Uh, if you did chose not to want to come back in person, that is completely fine. You will not lose your spot. spot. Uh, we will try to um, accommodate you. So that may mean that your Zoom time could change or that um, you could have more Zooms that your child has to get on because they'll be joining us like live in the classroom with other kids. Uh, that would be my, my preference. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Like I said, nothing is set in stone for us returning before January, but they are um, looking into that possibility and I wanted to communicate that with you guys. So I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed. Uh, crossed. I would rather be in person with the kids. Um, and when we do start, it'll be a slow phase in. So it wouldn't be four days a week. It might only be two, but two days is better than none. And then of course we would do virtual the other two days. I want to thank you all for how much you're working towards getting your kids online or just doing things with them. I know ex how extremely hard this is. I'm a parent myself. Um, she's older and more self-sufficient than preschoolers. I just can't even imagine, you know, if she was in elementary school. And I know a lot of you are working and trying your best. So we're trying to work with you. Our job is to make your life easier, not harder. Um, and I know that if we came back in person, that would ease a lot of you know, your struggles that you're having as parents. So I will keep you updated on this situation. If you have any questions regarding this, you can send me a remind message um, through the Global Heights Preschool or Miss Marlene and Miss Ahlam's class remind, because um, some of you belong to both. And I look forward to keeping in touch with you and hearing from you and keep working with all of our families. Have a great day. Bye.